looking here today at a piece of dirt. Next fall, we'll be looking at a new Silverdale Transit Center from dirt to transit center. It's designed for the future of public transportation. And by the way, and I'll highlight this if I can do that, electric public transportation is happening as we speak today. Not only is this a transit center that's gonna be key to our entire operation, but it's gonna be the first transit system in Western Washington that we're aware of that's going to have a wireless charging capability for our battery electric buses. We all know that the current technology with cell phones is that you just set your phone on the gizmo and it automatically charges. Well, we're going to have a couple of those gizmos as part of this project that the buses will just come over and stop. And while they're loading and offloading passengers, they'll be able to be recharged. So we're pretty excited about that. Working with WSDOT, we're going to be putting a transit-only on-ramp to this on-ramp behind us so that our buses that are going south will be able to just go right here as opposed to going down the hill to turn around and drive up the hill just to make a right turn. We love groundbreakings because they're the beginning of an amazing transformation in people's lives, not only physically with the facility, but in people's lives. And not just essential for those who don't have a choice, is essential for our mobility, for our network of transportation options. And it's essential in protecting and preserving this beautiful, beautiful environment that we have been entrusted with. Uh, we are learning a lot. And we, most people think that we bring all of the solutions. We, all we bring is money. You all have the ideas, the initiatives. You get it started, and we just help you. We help you get it across the finish line. Uh, so with the passage of the bipartisan infrastructure law, we're going to be able to connect so much more. And we certainly appreciate the opportunity to be a partner with you as we work uh, with Kipsat Transit uh, and its transition to the electric ferry fleet as well. So there's going to be a lot of electric happening here, not just a, <laughs> not just a party, not just a song. <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, a report came out that said that by the time my grandchildren are my age, there will be no glaciers in the Olympic National Park. Think about that. I mean, think about it. The blue glacier, miles of ice, totally gone because of climate change. I was just down with a bunch of students at Tacoma who are learning environmental education, and they were releasing thousands of salmon fry, realizing they could be extinct because the water could be too hot to actually support salmon. And the way to avoid this is doing the kind of things we're doing right here in Kitsap County. An electric bus is a way to give our grandchildren an opportunity possibly to have salmon in our rivers and glaciers in Olympic National Park. That's a good day's work. But it's also an economic development opportunity. And because of John's leadership and local leaders, we're doing it right here with the next all-electric ferry uh, across in, uh, the bay. Uh, in Ferndale, we're building electric buses in Ferndale. In Bellingham, we're building solar panels. This is an economic development project as well as a multimodal project. And I want to thank everybody involved in it. And uh, I want to thank the administrator. I, I agree. Let's go shovel some dirt. Thanks a lot.